How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 20 in my introduction to Python series. In this video I will be talking about list comprehension. Now we've already learned about lists, so what could I be talking about when I say list comprehension? It's a concise way of creating lists and it's really useful for uh, duplicating lists, extracting um, you know, extracting or filtering, I guess you could call it, certain elements out of that list into a new one. And, uh, you know, if you want to perform a certain operation on every element in the list, this is helpful too. So, let's get started. I'm not using PowerShell, or sorry, um, Notepad to code uh, file. We're just going to be playing around with all this stuff in the PowerShell window. So, just launch Python, and let's get started. So, first of all, I'm going to create a list here. So um, we'll create a list, uh, call it nums, and we'll set it equal to the range, and we'll pass in 10. So if I, just to show you, we have the numbers 0 through 9. That's our list. Now, say we wanted to uh, make a list where we uh, only had even numbers in it. Okay. Well... Based on what we know so far um, with lists and for loops and whatnot, we could create a list called evens, set it equal to a blank list, create a for loop called 4x four uh, in nums, and then, you know, uh, make sure you tab. And what we're going to do then is if, and then in here, so if x um mod if x mod 2 equals equals 0 so if it's an even number well then uh make sure you put two tabs this time what we're going to do then is evens to append and we're going to pass in x all right and hit enter twice now let's look at this thing evens and it does, in fact, have only the even numbers. But let's see here. One, two, three lines of code. Might not seem like a lot, but there is a lot easier way of doing this. So let's create evens 2. And this is where list comprehension comes in. Now, before I uh, do it, let me just explain list comprehension. You first pass in here, um, well, you use square brackets. And then in here, you have some sort of expression. You can have any expression. Um, now in this case we're just going to use x as our expression. That's going to be what is put inside the list. So we could put x squared and instead it would put the square of x in the list. Well then we need some for clause. What's a for clause? Well it's just like what we have up here for x and nums. So uh, so far that's our expression x. Next we're going to say x for x in nums. Well, now after that, you can have an if clause. You don't have to have the if clause. We could just say x for x and nums, and actually I'll show you what that looks like. So, evens 2. It just duplicated our list. That's what you would do if you wanted to duplicate a list. But, we can put an if clause as well. So, x for x and nums if x mod 2 equals equals 0. Now, let's look at evens 2. And it's the exact same as evens up here. So you can see how that's a much more clear and concise way of doing it. So you have your expression here. Um, and then you pass in a for clause. So where, which list you're iterating through. And then you put an if statement. So this is what's being put in. This is where the uh, they're coming from. So each number in the list nums. And this is your if clause for filtering, I guess you could call it. So we're just going to filter out, and we only want to keep numbers that are even. But I'm just going to show you where we can uh, do um, a different expression here. So let's call this, uh, I'm just going to save our expression here. And I'm going to call this variable squared evens. So we're only going to square the even numbers in a list. Well, all we got to do for that then is x two asterisks and a two so it's gonna square each x from 
the uh, list nums only if that x is even though. So let's go and see what that returns, squared evens, and that is what we get. So you can see how that's really cool, and of course we could do um, multiple uh, uh, if clauses. So we could say if x divided by 2 equals equals 0, I'm going to put an or or an and here, and then give a second condition. So if x is even and x is greater than 4, for example. Now if we look at it squared evens, you're only going to get um, 6 squared and then 8 squared. So that is list comprehension. It's just really helpful for making a new list. And of course, we could also turn this into a set if we wanted to. So squared even set. And we could set that equal to um, set. And then pass in x squared for x in nums sorry I'm just trying to read and type at the same time if x mod 2 equals equals 0 and x is greater than 4 so that is what I wanted to do oops alright so square bracket then circle bracket okay and everything should work so squared even set squared evens set okay Normally, you wouldn't want to make your variable names this long, but I did. And you can see it is a set because it has um, a random ordering of the numbers in there. Now, um, you could also do this, for example, sets. I showed you how sets search much quicker. So, um, you could uh, pass a set in here. So, we now have this squared even set. Let's just... <laughs> I'm kind of really changing it up here, but um, let's just change this to squared evens is equal to x squared for x in squared evens set. So um, you can use sets in there. You don't have to put a list in here for your for clause. And now squared evens. It's going to be huge numbers. Yeah, so... 64 squared and 36 squared. So you can use sets in here. You can put a list in there. I'm just trying to show you some things you can do with these. I'm sure you all can use your imagination on what you can do with list comprehension. So that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.